Okay, so in today's video, we're going to have a quick look at some of the different Takara hubs that you can get. Now, they, uh, you can see here, you probably recognize many of these. Uh, there is one Akara hub that's actually missing, that's the P3, but uh, I haven't got that and I've got no use for it. But I'm going to look at the main hubs that you keep hearing about again and again uh, on the internet and on forums, etc. So we'll start off with the first one. Now, this is the Akara hub that everyone knows and loves. And this one in this case is the UK stroke Hong Kong version. This is the running the older version of Zigbee, uh, but it's still currently used and Zigbee 3 devices can still use this, many of them of course. Um, you recognize it because of the color strip and the speaker and of course the built-in plug. This one has got the older car logo as you can probably see. And if we look at this one that looks almost identical, you'll see this is using the new Akara logo and this is the Chinese version of the Akara hub but this is the Akara hub M1S so this is running the latest version of Zigbee, Zigbee 3 and this is at the moment is only available in mainland China hence the Chinese plugs we'll come back to that in a bit and the difference between the two of these but we'll move on next to the Akara M2 now the Akara M2 has been a long kind of a long way in the making really and it's still only slightly available in China it's not available anywhere else and it's hard to find on online stores um, this is kind of like their their main flagship device in my opinion most mostly because it uses an Ethernet port and a micro USB port for the charger so it no longer has a built-in plug uh, it uses a typical USB type plug which makes it easier to use in other regions. What it doesn't have compared to the old one is the light strip. It does have a speaker however, there is a speaker built in, you can see the grill at the bottom. Um, but yeah, the Ethernet port is the main thing that's kind of differentiating this along with the shape. One other hub that came out around, well, before this, although they were announced around the same time, this is the Mija uh, Gateway version 3, or they call it the Mija Smart Gateway. And this is kind of very similar in many ways, although you can see a slightly different size. And once again, this is using a, a USB type power uh, connection. Uh, this doesn't have a speaker, quite basic in many ways. Uh, but it's still Zigbee 3 and it can work with many Akara devices although you can't actually add it to the Akara app. This has to be used in Mi Home. The big difference between this and all of these devices is that just recently Xiaomi made this region free. So if you bought a Chinese one you can actually now use it in any region with any server which is like a, a, a major kind of difference that you don't tend to see with uh, Mija or Xiaomi products when it comes to smart products. Um, but it has its downsides, like I say, there's no speaker. So that's something to bear in mind. Uh, the final one that I'm going to show you here is the Akara G2H. Now the Akara G2H is a camera, as you can see, but it's also a hub and it's a Zigbee 3 hub. So essentially what you've got here, you've got three Zigbee 3 hubs, in fact four, sorry, four Zigbee 3 hubs and the current one which is Zigbee, I think it's 1.2 or something, I'm not entirely certain. All of these are Zigbee 3, so eventually when this one and this, uh, this the version, the M1S as it's called, comes out internationally, hopefully, uh, then you're going to be good to go, although the camera because it's Zigbee 3 and it's a hub as well, is already available in Europe and the USA. So if you can't get your hands on one of these and you want Zigbee 3, but you don't want to use this, then this is probably the thing to go for. So they're the basic explanations. There are a few differences aside from Zigbee 3 with this. Um, the Akara M1S does have all four alarm modes. This only has kind of away and off, whereas this has away, sleep, home and off. Same with this, away, sleep, home and off. 
Uh, this, I think this has the four modes, but I have to double check that's in the Miho map, of course. And the alarm in the G2H isn't exposed to HomeKit at all. So that's something else to bear in mind if you want to use an alarm system. It doesn't mean to say you can't use the alarm system and it has a reasonable uh, speaker in it, but if you want to be able to turn the alarm on and off via the, uh, the, me, uh, the, the Home app, Apple Home app, then you're out of luck, unfortunately, unless you use Siri shortcuts. So there's the basic differences between them all, and I hope that's of some help to you. But like I say, currently this is the one that's the de facto version throughout the world. So you've got the European version, the American version, the Chinese version, and of course the, the Hong Kong stroke UK version, although it's not available in the UK, unfortunately. Um, yeah, if there's any questions, please leave them in the comments and I'll, I'll try and answer them as best I can. But hopefully I've covered the differences here in all these different hubs and that's have been, that's been of some help. Okay, see you again soon. Bye.